presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, what's ProPresenter Plus and should you renew it? Updated. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're curious about what ProPresenter Plus is and if you have to renew it or even if you should, go ahead click the like, subscribe, etc. So this is a question that I answer all the time over in the official ProPresenter users group. And I've made a video about it before, but some things have changed a little bit, so I wanted to update that. So let's head over to my computer and we'll talk about ProPresenter Plus. So here we are in ProPresenter, and I'm actually in a beta right now. I'm on ProPresenter 7.16 beta. And the reason that I say that is because if you don't renew ProPresenter Plus, there will come a time when you can't download the beta. Whether you want to or not, you, you just won't be able to do it because you'll have the watermark. So that's one thing for you to consider when you're considering uh, doing ProPresenter Plus. So let's uh, first, this is the Renewed Vision article about it. And it says the renewal price for ProPresenter Plus for a single seat, so that's if you're just doing one, is 189 and the cost for a campus license which is for houses of worship only so not governments not uh, stand-up comedians not uh, companies by the way you may think that I'm making up those last three but pro presenter is used by those sorts of people that are not uh, churches or houses of worship um, the renewal for the campus license is $469, and it comes up every year on the anniversary of your original ProPresenter 7 purchase. So that's an important piece of the puzzle. Uh, another important piece of the puzzle is if you let that lapse, you have one month to renew it, and if it goes beyond that, then you'll have to purchase it completely all over. So let's dive into some of the particulars of that. Do you like these videos, but you'd really like to learn from me in person? Well, I've got some great news for you. I am traveling around the country and maybe even around the world training churches on how to use ProPresenter. So I've got a uh, either a one or a one and a half day class that you can attend. For more details, head on over to tdm.fyi slash events24, the top one right here, and uh, register for the event nearest you. If there is no event that's near you, no problem, you can request one. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash events. Uh, class request that's this one down here and um, you can say hey I'm interested in attending a class or even I'm interested in hosting a class up to you which you prefer in the last one that is just information it's not obligation so don't hesitate to put your information in there and uh, I'll let you know when there's a class in your area or we'll talk about what it takes to host a class it's probably a lot less than you uh, imagine that it is. So head over there, and uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. So you buy ProPresenter brand new today. Whatever today's date is, you buy it brand new, and you get an entire year of ProPresenter Plus. So you can get support. You can get uh, all the feature updates in the next year which normally they release about once a quarter so you're going to get about four versions four major versions and then all of the 
uh, bug fixes and everything else that go along with those. By the way, every feature update includes a bug fix or multiple bug fixes as well. So basically you're getting bug fixes all, all along because this is very complex software. If all that ProPresenter do, did was say, hello world, then you could probably make a version that didn't have any bugs in it because it didn't really do anything. But since it does so much, it's very difficult to have a perfect piece of software that does so much. And a small company like Renewed Vision, they, uh, they're they doing their best to make bug-free software, and they have dedicated teams uh, on both the Windows and the Mac side to do just that. Not just new features, by the way. That's a different team that does the new features than the ones that handles the bug fixes. But all that to say, you're doing that all the time. So they're always trying to make their software better and also trying to get rid of the bugs as much as they can. So you get those three things. You need get new features, you get bug fixes, and you get support. Now, you can always hop onto uh, my group, the official ProPresenter users community, and ask your questions and all whether you've got a current ProPresenter Plus or not. But the question you might be asking is, well, should I renew it? Do I have to? Well, the answer is you don't have to. As long as you've got a computer that can run your version of ProPresenter, then you're perfectly fine to go ahead and continue using that version of ProPresenter. The problem is that if there is a new version of the OS or you get a new computer, it could be that it won't run that version of ProPresenter anymore. And it's not the case that, I, because I've heard this, this isn't true either. It isn't true that somehow Renewed Vision is using psychic powers or something. I'm joking about the psychic powers. But somehow they have figured out what is going to come in unannounced versions of the operating system. And they've specifically written their software to uh, have problems when that happens. No, that's just the nature of the beast in how the software works. So, should you renew? I think so, because there's a couple of situations where you're going to regret it if you don't. Situation number one is, what if a third-party service has something that causes a problem? Now, this happened uh, in early part of 2023 when CCLI changed their API so that Song Select no longer worked with ProPresenter. Now, normally, when a company does something like that, there's a pretty long lead time between when they change their API and the old one quits working. It could be that it was longer than I thought it was going to be, but it was not as long as I expected it was going to be. And again, I don't work for Renewed Vision. I just This is just my opinion as an individual looking at it from the outside. So there were some churches that said, oh, we don't need to renew our ProPresenter Plus. And then they got bit by the fact that CCLI and Song Select quit working within ProPresenter. So that's one kind of situation. Another situation is if Renewed Vision releases a feature that you have really, really wanted. So, for example, um, the version of ProPresenter that I'm working on has collections of macros. And when they announced that beta, I talked to at least a couple of people that said, oh no, we've just let our ProPresenter Plus lapse and we're beyond the grace period, so we, we're we just out of luck. We've got to uh, either buy ProPresenter again at full price 
or wait for a certain amount of time. So that's another situation. What I basically tell people is if you let ProPresenter Plus lapse beyond the grace period, which is now a month, then you are betting that what's going to happen is that there isn't going to be a feature that breaks from some third party. You aren't going to need to update the operating system for some reason. Or you're also betting that there isn't going to be a feature that is something that you really need. It's going to really save you a lot of time. It's going to make things a lot better, etc. And I don't think that's a very good bet, actually. To bet that a company that's trying really hard to make better and better software isn't going to succeed in the next two and a half years in doing something that you really, really need. So let's uh, head back over to the computer, and I want to do a little math, actually. So, so 189 is how much it costs for a single seat, or 469 for the campus license. So, the initial price for the uh, single seat is 399. So 399. Now if we divide that by 189, we get 2.11111. So what you're saying is you can wait two and a tenth year. So uh, a tenth of a year is 1.2 months. So two years and a month or so is what you're gambling that you can uh, wait for it to be worth waiting until you get that, um, until it makes sense financially to go back and renew your seat license. Well, what about for a, uh, if you have not just one or two seats, because, you know, it would be 189 per seat if you have one or two, but if you have a campus license, which is 999, so let's do the math on that, 999 divided by ProPresenter Plus price of... 469. So divided by 469. This is just a hair longer at 2.13 years, but again, that's still about the same. So if it's the case that you're going to wait two and a half years or more, then that's fine. But as I say, you're betting that they're not going to uh, have this. And you do have a month to sort this all out, but it's not the case that if you wait a month, then you get 12 months from that date. It's still 12 months from your initial purchase date. So let's say that you buy ProPresenter on February 1st. Your, uh, actually February is a bad example because it's 28 or 29 days. Let, let's call it March 1st. You buy ProPresenter on March 1st. The next year on March 1st, your ProPresenter Plus is due. If you do not renew it, then you have until April 1st to renew it. If you renew it, let's say March 31st, your next renewal date is not going to be March 31st. It's still going to be March 1st. So that's an important thing to know. It's worth mentioning, by the way, that 
back when they first released ProPresenter, uh, they had a longer grace period. But that was more confusing. So they shortened the grace period to a month so that it wasn't the case that people were thinking, oh, I'll wait a year and then renew and I'll still get another new year. No, not really. You, you could potentially renew on day on one day before the grace period ran out and then you would only have one day of actual coverage before it started all over again. So that was no good. That was uh, something that is no longer the case, at least for new licenses. I don't know if it is, if it's okay for old ones, if they grandfathered in the old ones. Don't know. But, so, all that to say, should you renew uh, ProPresenter Plus? Well, I think that the answer is yes. And I think that the answer is yes because, first off, it's a smaller amount of money every year as opposed to saving up and paying that every two and some odd years. Plus, that gives you the peace of mind in knowing if there is something that I really, really need or something I really, really want, then I'm covered. And if I need support, then I'm covered. So those three things, I think, just make it a no-brainer. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com, reminding you to go out and change eternity.